Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing Batman Incorporated. Now, I'm a huge Grant Morrison fan, and I'm a huge fan of Batman. The Grant Morrison Batman is actually probably my favorite version of Batman. So if you don't like that, I don't know why you'd be watching this. But uh, you're probably not going to like my review because it's going to be positive. I love Batman Inc. But I want to do a review of it because I haven't yet. So basic story is... It, Bruce Wayne has come out and announced that he is the financial backer for the Batman and that he is going to be going around the world and recruiting more for Batman Incorporated, which is basically a giant bat army. No, it sounds crazy, but it's Grant Morrison, so of course it's going to be a little crazy. Uh, but this series is honestly one of the funnest and uh, most exciting Batman stories. Uh, in a long time, uh, all the Grant Morrison Batman is very fun, very exciting, and very cool, and I love that. It's not quite the super serious, super dark uh, Frank Miller or Scott Snyder even kind of Batman. Uh, this is a Batman that does the crazy adventure, has the one-liners, has the quips, a lot of inspiration from the 60s show, but kind of a middle ground between the 60s show and the super... Uh, super dark Frank Miller kind of Batman. So it's a middle ground where it's funny, has serious moments, but not, never at any point do you really, because Grant Morrison, do you ever really know exactly what's going on. It takes you on twist turns, and it's just a really fun ride. And I'm really excited to see where it kind of goes for like the second part of Batman Inc., which is currently going on. But you get to see a lot of really interesting, really weird characters like Lord Deathman, uh, Batwings introduced, uh, Batwoman, Black Bat, Batman, Dick Grayson Batman, Damian Robin, Red Hood, Red Robin, uh, all kinds of people running the gambit, or not Red Hood, sorry, but uh, all kinds of people running the gambit, and it's basically, this uh, first volume is the him recruiting people for the most part, and then him dealing with stuff like Dr. Deadless, and of course Leviathan, which is the big, almost mystery throughout this, is who is Leviathan, what is Leviathan, how far does it reach, what does it really do, and throughout this you learn just how deep it reaches and how effective it is, and if you're reading Batman Inc. now, you know what Leviathan is, and it's uh, actually this, I thought was really cool, this uh, deluxe edition, I don't know, uh, sorry, went on tangent, but uh, the deluxe edition does come with Leviathan Strikes, which was a one-shot that shows who Leviathan is, which is really cool. I'll keep this as spoiler-free as possible, even though it's kind of hard to, because even if I say something by accident, you probably won't notice what it even means until I say it, or until you read it, sorry. But yeah, uh, so I'll keep this kind of short. Batman Inc., Love this story. I'm a huge fan, like I said, huge fan of the Grant, entire Grant Morrison run, and this one especially. I love this. If you're looking for a really fun Batman, this would be the one for you. Mix it with some really dark moments and some really dark comedy. But basically it starts off with uh, Batman and Catwoman in Japan, and from there on you just go on a crazy worldwide adventure. It takes you to Indian reservations inside the internet... <laughs> uh, islands, Hawaii, all kinds of crazy locales, and crazy fights, crazy villains, crazy heroes, and an overall just fun, crazy story. And I probably said crazy four million times, but that's pretty much what Batman Inc. is. <clears throat> so like I said, I can't say it enough, it's not the super dark and gritty Batman, because I have a lot of people, when they ask me about these books, if they'll like them, they are come at it from an angle, they're big fans of uh, Year One, or they're big fans of Nightfall, or No Man's Land, but they ha they're not really in comics, and they hear a lot about Grant Morrison and want to get into it, and it's not that bad, man. That is, I know I've said a lot in this one, and I'm getting repetitive here, but just need to make that clear, not that bad, man. But the Batman I love. So, Batman Incorporated, I'm going to give it a 9.8 out of 10. I love it. I won't say it's it's not perfect. There are one or two things, just a little detail that for some reason will bug me. That I won't say it's perfect for that. But 
I do love it to death. So, Batman Incorporated, 9.8 out of 10. Uh, and I'll see you guys in another review. But actually, I leave a comment if you if there's any Batman story or any graphic novel that you want me to review or that you're curious on my thoughts on. I right, just leave a comment, like, subscribe, whatever. Send me a message. See you guys in another review.